Check on the rotten fields. I get so tired of this map. Thank you. She's my precious. Oh, wow. They're all up there. <laughs> well, I'm just going to work this gin right next to them. YOLO. Yeah, <laughs> cheesing. When, she, when, they're, oh, when they're just smiling up at you like that. Oh, it's Legion. Oh, my God. That's so unlucky that we all spawn together. So, oh, uh, shit. Legion knows I'm here. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, they're coming for me. Oh, they gave up on me. Okay, so the way Legion works... Um... So Legion's power is that they go into a frenzy. When they're frenzied, they're very fast. They're, they, they sprint way faster. They're like the fastest killer in the game. Um, so Legion's like the fastest killer in the game when they're using their power. It lasts for a short amount of time. Oh wow, there's a bug there. Um, but while they're frenzied though, they can't injure you normally. If they stab you, you go into what they call a deep wounded state, which means if you do not get healed in 20 seconds, you're auto downed. So they could down you in one hit if they get lucky, but a corollary to their power is that when they stab someone in their frenzy, it resets their, the duration of it. It only lasts like 15, 20 seconds normally. So like if I stab you after 15 seconds, 14 seconds, I get a whole nother stab, a whole nother 15 seconds. Um, you stab someone, it refreshes their duration, so you're fast for longer, and they're deep wounded, and you get to see the heartbeat of every single survivor in your terror radius. So if you can hear Legion's heartbeat and they stab someone, Legion knows where you are, which means they can beeline straight for you, stab you, and the way you play Legion is you stab someone, find someone else, stab someone, find someone else, and you stab all four players, so they're all in the deep wounded state, which if you look in the bottom left corner, the second player is in the deep wounded state right now, that's what that orange bar means. If that hits empty, they're downed, and uh, they're told, the killer is told where they are. Oh, I missed a skill check. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ace. I'm going to leave. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ace. Um, so the way Legion works is that they snowball real fast into wounding you all, but they can't down you like a normal killer unless they're out of their power. And when they're not in their power, they're one of the they're second only to nurse in slow speed. So a Legion who can't use their power very well is very bad. A Legion who can use their very po power very well stops the game. The game is dead if the Legion is very good. And so that's what it comes down to. And the way you counter Legion is by not staying together. If you're playing a Legion, never be next to your friend. Always be as far away from your friends as you can. Which is very different than how you normally play the game. And that's actually why I like Legion. A lot of people say Legion's really bad. I think Legion is actually a really clever killer. And maybe maybe they can use some stat buffs. That maybe you can like ner like increase their speed a little bit or increase the duration, you know, some tweaking. But in general, I think they're actually a very clever killer for the game because they directly like it's oh, it's Legion. I have to play entirely differently and very few killers make you completely refactor your strategy. We want we need more killers like that for variety, but Legion's a little weak right now. So we definitely want Legion to be a little stronger. I'm going to work this gen since that knee is going to get the unhook. I found a purple toolbox, which is incredibly lucky. Um, yeah, I think there should be a new chapter is what they're called DLC chapters. Um, in March, the last, oh, I'm sorry. Legion came out in December and they were trying to do one every three months, but the three month period ended in 2018. So we don't know that a new chapter is coming out. There's a chance they just go, we're changing our cadence, but if they keep the same cadence they've been, then March will be coming out, will be a new chapter and new chapters typically include new killers, new survivors and new maps. Oh, thank God. Someone broke fucking ruin. So there should be a new chapter coming out. We definitely have a new patch coming out. Jason will never be in this game because there's a Friday, uh, Friday the 13th game separately from this. And there's a huge lawsuit right now. And it's very sad. The Friday the 13th game is a lot like this, but like the details are totally different. And it's a very interesting game. Um, but since the lawsuit of the original create, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, they're missing a lot. Okay, well they got me, I'm deep wounded now. Uh, also, while they're in their power, they can, uh, vault. I fucked up, so I just gave up. I'm so sorry, everyone. I fucked up real bad. <laughs> but yeah, because of the lawsuit, the Friday the 13th video game cannot have new content. They're literally not allowed to do anything to the game. And unfortunately, that means the game is effectively dead. And it's very sad. Because it's very, it's, it's very different from this one while being- Oh, someone quit. 
it's very different from this game while being the same in concept. You have survivors who are trying to escape, but like the details are different. Like in Friday the 13th, you can literally get a hero class by meeting certain conditions and shoot Jason to death. Like that's like a thing you can do, and that's really cool. But unfortunately, they can never update the game again, so it is officially a dead game. There are still people playing it, but it's not a lot of people. It's unfortunate, but as a result, Jason Voorhees won't be in this game until Friday the 13th is dead and they lose all their licensing and the person doing the lawsuit stops doing the lawsuit and lets people make a new shit. If those conditions don't get met, Voorhees will never be in this game. Also, so the last time we heard about them... Oh, okay, so I need to drink three. Also, the developer's behavior, interactive, did, um, like, f I want to say, like, three or four. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. Fuck me. Ah, fuck, ah, fuck. Okay, they stunned. Once their uh, frenzy runs out, they get stunned for a second. So that's very strong. So I'm just going to loop him here. While you're in a chase, your deep wounds timer doesn't go down. Oh, he got me. I'm dead. Well, it's my second up. Um, so spirit's power... Oh, well, anyway, let me finish what I was saying. I'm sorry. I'm scatterbrained normally. And when I'm drunk, it's like a thousand times worse. Um... They're not going to do any more licensed killers. They're all all—they're probably all going to be original. Because they seriously did like three or four licensed killers in a row. And they literally said, we are tired of making licensed killers. We would like to make original content. And they did two original killers in a row so far. So I imagine the next killer is probably going to be original. Just be Oh no, they did th three originals in a row, right? Two or three, I don't remember. But probably the next killer is original. They probably won't do a license for a little bit, but I expect licensed ones will start coming back eventually. I think they just burned themselves out doing licensed stuff, and they wanted to, like, do their own shit. So we'll see what they do. The spirit's power is that she can phase walk. When the spirit phase walks, she leaves her body behind. So her body just stands there like, ah, ah, not moving, and you're like, oh, why is the spirit not moving? That's weird. Ah, fuck me. I made a mistake. Oh, well. I'm sorry. This. Oh, he frenzied me. Okay, well, I'll just keep running. Um, So when she phase walks, she leaves her body behind. So it's just there. It even has a terror radius. So it sounds like she's just standing there. And you're like, oh, is the killer just standing there? That's weird. But while she's phase walking, her soul is separate from her husk. The husk is the official nerd word for it. So her soul leaves her husk and runs. And you move way faster. And you're invisible while you're a soul. But if the killer, if the survivors are not in your terror radius, it makes a static noise. So if I don't hear the husk's terror, the heartbeat, and you start running, I'm going to hear a loud <laughs> noise. And you're like, oh, what's that? And it's the it's the husk spirit coming straight dead ass for you. Um, if you're in her terror radius, it's utterly silent. So you'll be being chased by the spirit and she'll stop walking. And you're like, why did she stop walking? And you don't know if she's phase walking or if she's making you think she's phase walking. Um, after a few seconds pass of her phase walking, her corpse moves her husk. Husk. Moves to where her spirit currently is and pops in. I'm injured, so they're following my blood. Yeah, they're following my blood. Alright, gang, this is a short game. Oh, someone fucking used this pallet already. Shit my dick. Well, I'm just gonna loop this killer as long as I can. Ah, fuck. Oh, can I get to this path? This vault? No, I'm down. Oh, shit, I'm not. Oh, my God. Okay, we gotta sneak away before he catches up to me again. I did a slow vault so he wouldn't know what I did. Uh, GG, that was a short game. We're just going to drink six now. Actually, there's like this much drink left, so I'm just going to finish it and go make another one and feed my baby. 
Um, I'm sorry. So yeah, her spirit, her husk moves to where her spirit is and the phase lock ends. And that is um, her whole power. So it lets you trick people. Like, for example, you can walk up to someone and then stop moving. And they'll be like, oh, she's phase walking. I'm going to run back towards her. And then you hit them because you aren't phase walking. Oh, also, the phase walking has a big restriction. All survivors are invisible while you're phase walking. You cannot see them. All you can see are those scratch marks they leave behind when running. So smart survivor will hear the static and stop running and walk back over where they ran. You'll keep running and not know where they are. And that's kind of like the trickiness. And so the spirit requires you to have a high level mastery, uh, both on both sides. You have to know what to do as a survivor and you have to know what to do as a killer. She's probably the second highest skill cap survive killer in the game. Second only to nurse. She's not as hard as nurse, but she's definitely like up there harder than any other killer.